Hi everyone, I'm Sleeper Bill. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the double bass pickup from KNA Pickups, the DB1. The DB1 is a portable bridge mounted piezo with a tailpiece mounted output jack for double bass. This pickup faithfully reproduces the tone and dynamic range of your double bass without modification. It's very well made and easy to use, a piezo sensor is installed in the eye slot of the bridge and the quarter inch jack housing is secured onto the tailpiece with a screw assembly at the string eye. It has a passive design that reproduces the natural sound of the instrument with no need for a battery. The piezo sensor has a lightweight wooden casing to achieve maximum tonal sensitivity and transmission. The DB1 is very easy to install and comes with additional neatly finished shim disc for fitting the sensor in narrow bridges. It's designed to fit any double bass bridge. However, some bridge slot openings will need to be widened slightly. You can do it yourself, but if you're not comfortable with this kind of operation, use a professional technician. We recommend 200 grit sandpaper, folding the paper appropriately to make it sturdy. It's really important to keep the sanding surface flat. You can use a plastic or metal plate between the sandpaper for it. Be careful and protect the varnish of the instrument during the operation. Also, widen the slot slowly and try to attach the pickup sensor frequently to avoid making the slot too wide. If the slot is wider than the sensor, use the additional provided shims. Line up the necessary number of shims along with the sensor and slide them in the slot under the first string. We recommend installing the sensor on the right side of the bridge, but some players prefer to install it on the left side. Hold the bridge with one hand so it does not move while installing the sensor. It should fit tightly but installed without force. It should not move while playing or even shaking the double bass, but of course the fitting should not be too tight where the sensor or the bridge can be damaged. To attach the jack clip to the tailpiece, unscrew the nut and washer to completely open the retaining bracket with a clamp. We recommend installing the jack housing on the right side of the tailpiece. Position the retaining bracket beneath the tailpiece near the G-string slot. Fit the screw through the slot with a washer. Tighten the washer screw holding the nut with the fingers of your other hand. You can use a screwdriver to tighten additionally if needed. Don't over tighten to avoid damaging the screw thread or tailpiece. Always hold the jack housing with one hand while plugging and unplugging the cable. You're now ready to enjoy your k and pickup. For today's video, I'm gonna plug the pickup directly into my audio interface, but you can also use an acoustic amplifier, a preamp or a DI box if you play on stage. Now I let Eric play the double bass in order to show you how good the DB1 sounds. We record two tracks at the same time, one with the DB1 and one with a microphone, which is an Audio Technica AT4033. So you'll be able to compare the sound of the k and pickup to the sound of the double bass in the room.
You just heard the DB1 from KNA Pickups. It sounds really great, and yet it's not easy to make a double bass sound natural, especially with a passive pickup. Bass frequencies are not too moody, the medium and the pizzicato are pretty precise. You can hear all the notes and the treble when you play the slap bass are not too harsh. As you could see, it's also really easy to use and easy to install, so if you're looking for a great sounding pickup for your double bass that you can install and uninstall easily, go try the DB1 from KNA Pickups. Thank you.